Hello, this is Steve Caldwell, and today we're going to show you in this video how you can use MIDI controller to control an infrared device through Bonebox using the Bonebox serial functionality. This will allow you to control virtually any infrared device with MIDI. This unique solution even allows controlling multiple IR and MIDI devices using one MIDI controller. For use with a DAW with time sequences or synchronized with lighting equipment or long distance using Ethernet or Wi-Fi or all of the above. Some examples might be sound systems, TVs, projectors, DVD players, or IR enabled central heating, lights, or fans. In this tutorial, we'll be controlling the mute on and mute off function of a TV. This is just an example and many other functions may be available for the device that you want to control. This is part one of a two-part tutorial where we will develop the solution using Bone MIDI Translator Pro. In part two, we'll show you how to implement on Bonebox so that the entire solution can be used without the computer. The diagram here shows the final configuration that we're going to use. On the top, we have our launch control MIDI controller that we'll be using to control the IR device. We will use a USB hub to connect to Bonebox. We are also going to connect the Arduino with an IR shield to the USB hub. With that, we'll be able to use the bone box to control the communications between the MIDI controller and the Arduino and send the infrared signal to the television set. In the description of this tutorial, we'll provide a link to all of the resources you may need to put this solution together for yourself. This will include the code that was developed by Bone Software to run the solution. In this video, we think that you will find that it is a very simple process and you do not need to be an expert in Arduino or coding in order to make it work for you. Here is what you'll need. First, you will need an iArduino, which is basically an Arduino with an IR shield attached. For part two, you'll need a bone box, but not in this part one of the series. You will need Bone MIDI Translator Pro to actually develop the solution to convert from MIDI to the serial data stream required by the Arduino. You will need to download the Bone IR hex code, and then you will need a hex loader to load the code into the Arduino. You also need an existing remote so that you can learn the signals it sends. Again, a link to all of these resources will be provided in the description of this tutorial. Here is what we are going to go through on part one. First, we are going to get the code and upload it into the iArduino. We will then connect the iArduino to a computer and Bone MIDI Translator Pro to capture the codes from the existing remote. Then we'll set up the translator we need in Bone MIDI Translator Pro. Finally, we'll test the solution using the computer. On part two, we will upload and test the solution on Bonebox. This is just a snapshot of where the hex code is located. I then use the hex loader tool that I downloaded to load the Arduino. We've plugged the Arduino in. We select the proper serial port, device type, file name, and baud rate. We then click upload and after 10 to 15 seconds it tells us the upload is complete. The first thing you need to do when you open the Bone project file is to configure the serial port. We do this in settings. We then create an alias for the port and assign it to the Arduino port. We configure the alias for the proper baud rate of 115, 200, 8 bits, 1 stop, no parity. Let's set up our input device. We set it up as the launch control. Then we add a translator. Since we'll be using this to control mute, we will name it mute. We will capture the incoming MIDI message from the launch control by pushing the button we want to control mute. Click on the incoming message to move it to the translator. Now we go to the outgoing message and capture the outgoing serial port data that we want to send by learning it from the remote. I push the mute button on the remote to capture the IR serial message. Since I held the mute button too long, it also gave me a repeat message, so I'll delete that portion of the incoming message. 
Now we're ready to save and test the project. So you see here as I press the button it turns the mute on and off. For controlling IR devices using MIDI without a computer, check out part 2 where the implementation is the same using Boombox. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us at www.boom.com.